In this video, we'll be constructing the end center of a triangle using GeoGebra. A few reminders, file, save as, name your file, last name, first initial underscore end center. Make sure you know where you're saving it so you can upload it when we're finished. Go to View, uncheck axes, don't need them. Go to Options, Labeling, we want no new objects. Oh, I think I missed. Options labeling, no new objects. Okay, draw my triangle. Okay. Now, to draw the in center, I need three angle bisectors. The angle bisector tool is under this perpendicular line menu. Uh, and I want and it's listed as angular bisector. Same thing as an angle bisector. To draw it, I can click three points or just the two lines that form the angle. It's a little quicker, I think, to click the two lines, so I'm going to go with that. You'll see when you draw it, it drew two lines. This one's the angle bisector, and this one's its perpendicular. It's just kind of the way GeoGebra does it. Let's get rid of that one. Okay, Right-click, uncheck, show object. I don't want to delete it, I just don't want to show it. Okay, uh, and Do the same thing for the other angles. Right click, uncheck show object. Make sure you're not hiding the angle bisector, you want to hide its perpendicular. Okay. All three should be concurrent at a point inside the triangle. Doesn't matter how I move this triangle, it could be acute right or obtuse, the in center stays inside the triangle. Alright, I'm going to have some other lines in this picture, so I want to change the color and style of these three. Okay. Um, if you want to select them in the algebra window, you see the objects that you hid all have this white dot over here. So if you want the ones that are still there, click the ones with the blue dots. That's confusing though. Uh, just hold down the control key and click them in the geometry window. Make sure they all highlight. Once all three of them are highlighted, you want to right click, color, um, we'll go with the red again. Style, we're going to make these dashed. Okay, so there's your three angle bisectors. Let's put the in center in. So go to the intersect tool, click any two of those lines, doesn't matter which two, and you'll get your in center. Rename it by right clicking and going to rename, and we want to call it the in center. Okay, before I finish, I want to draw the inscribed triangle. Remember, the, remember the in center is the center of a triangle, or the center of a circle inscribed in the triangle. Okay. The in center is equidistant from the sides of the triangle. How do you measure the distance from a point to a line? How far is this point from this line? Well, I'm going to have to draw perpendiculars to measure that distance. So choose the perpendicular line tool, click this line and this point. Click again the in center and side of the triangle, in center, side of the triangle. And if your lines are a little too close together, they're confusing you, you could move this around and try to space them out a little more, but it really shouldn't matter. Okay, now I want points where my new lines intersect the triangle. Now this might be a little confusing. You want to look, look for the ones that might be perpendicular. Okay, um, so make sure you're going in the right direction. In other words, if I start at the in center, it, it goes two directions. It doesn't look perpendicular here, does it? I want to go to the one that, the side that looks perpendicular. You should be able to visually tell. So let's put those points in there. I want to use the intersection tool again. I want to intersect the side of the triangle. Okay. Oh, make sure I've got the intersection tool selected. I'm going to intersect the side of the triangle and that line. I'm going to click the side of the triangle and that line. And last, the side of the triangle and that line. 
Okay. All right. Now I can uh, I can get rid of those lines. Uh, I don't need them anymore. It's a good way to get rid of a bunch of objects. Over here on the right, choose the Show Hide Object tool. And it's going to pop up with your hidden objects, and that's okay. Um, click these other lines that I want to get rid of. Click each one of them. You don't have to right-click or anything like that. Just left-click them. Okay, make sure they're all highlighted. Don't, don't re-click any of the other ones that were hided previously. Just click those three lines that I just drew. And then change your tool to any other tool and everything disappears. Now my picture is a lot cleaner. Alright, last I want to draw the circle. Okay, circle the center and point. Center is the in center. Choose any one of these three sides. Or any three, I'm sorry, any, any one of these three points. And there's your inscribed triangle. As I move the vertices around, okay, it stays inscribed so it's touching each one of the sides at one point. Okay, and that is an in center and it's corresponding inscribed circle. Make sure you save your construction and upload it to School Fusion.